What's up guys, Brendan Hancock here with another episode of Groove Subaru Today. And today we're gonna take a look at one of my favorite vehicles, the 2017 Subaru Forester XT Premium. Now, this is one of the two turbo Forester models that's available. There's the XT Premium, and then there's the XT Touring, which is gonna come with things like leather, HID headlights, eyesight capabilities, uh, so on and so forth. But this one right here, in my opinion, the XT Premium offers a tremendous level of value. Um, not only if you look on the outside, um, do you notice that it has a much, you know, more aggressive front end with the, uh, the classic Turbo Forester front grille here, uh, but it also has the spoiler on it, uh, the 18 inch wheels that come, the same ones that come on the XT Touring Forester, uh, and just has an overall very nice look to it. Body colored side mirrors do add another uh, level of elegance to it that I like. Uh, but the cool thing is that this vehicle right here still gives you a lot of amenities on the interior as well. I mean, you're gonna have you know, heated seats, heated side mirrors, heated windshield. Um, you'll have the uh, seven inch touchscreen infotainment system and you'll also have the Starlink safety and security system available to you as well. But the big thing about this is the engine. You have a 2.0 liter turbo, 256 horsepower, a boxer engine that produces a zero to 60 time in just over six seconds, which for a family size you know, SUV such as this, that is fast. In fact, it actually has a faster zero to 60 time uh, than the Audi Q5 2.0 turbo. So that's something that I love. But uh, the best part about this and why I love the Turbo Forester uh, is because of a unique feature called SI Drive. Now, what SI Drive is, and we're gonna take this out for a quick spin here to sort of demonstrate that for you, but it's three different driving modes that really give you uh, a great deal of control over how your car is gonna perform when you're driving it. The first one is intelligent mode. So intelligent mode is gonna be for in and around town. Uh, the throttle response is a little bit less, really designed more for overall fuel economy. Uh, the second mode is gonna be sport mode. That's gonna give you a little bit more throttle response. It's gonna shift gears a little bit faster for you. Uh, just give you a little bit more pep in your step. Really nice for kind of driving around uh, some windy roads in the mountains. And then there's Sport Sharp, which I cannot wait to demonstrate for you, which is just literally for when you feel like being hardcore. So why don't we go take this in for a spin? We're gonna start out first in intelligent driving mode. And this is really gonna be uh, for sort of in and around town driving, um, really designed for fuel economy. Um, even though you're in sort of the less sporty mode that's available to you, it's still gonna be a lot more pep in your set, you know, so to speak, than just the regular 2.5i. It's still gonna be very responsive. Um, and in and, in and around town, things like that, it's definitely gonna be more than enough power for you. The other thing that I really, really like that they do with the turbo, uh, they give you a good level of amenities here. I mean, you have, essentially now, you have basically what's in a 2.5i premium. Um, here you have the seven inch touchscreen, you have automatic climate control, heated seats, X mode. Um, the other thing that I love though that they do with just the turbos with the Forester is you do have the paddle shifters. So if you have seen our Forester and Crosstrek comparison, one of the things I liked about the Crosstrek was the availability of paddle shifters and they do give that to you in the Turbo Forester, which is awesome. So I'm gonna shift over into sport mode here just on this turn here. You do have a nice sport tuned suspension in the Turbo Forester, which is really nice even compared to, you know, like V6 RAV4s, things like that. And I can feel, you know, there we go, there we go. Not a lot of lag there, that was really nice, uh, but it took me up to, unfortunately there's cars in front, but it took me up to about 5,000 RPM before it actually shifted, um, which is going to allow you to rev higher. You can feel a little bit more of that boxer sound, which is nice to feel in like a, a midsize, SUV, which is really cool. Um, but visibility in this car is really good. I mentioned previously in other videos when driving the Forester, just how well you can see over the front. So to have kind of this glass box feel mixed with exceptional performance is really, really nice. I don't think you need to have it in sport mode, you know, in and around town like we are here. We're just on some small roads, but it does know how to calm down. So I'm in sport mode now, but I'm only at 1500 RPM. I mean, granted, I'm only going 35 miles an hour, but it does sort of know how to, to calm down for you if you're not really using it, but it has that power available to you when you want to punch on it. I don't think that's really the same in Sport Sharp. We're gonna demonstrate that for you in a second. I think Sport Sharp's just a little heavy, a little bit too aggressive throttle response to be driving just kind of in everyday situations. It's really only, the only time I ever turn it on is like, you know, getting onto a highway, on the on-ramp just for a little extra fun. Um, 
and then if I'm really you know on a windy road trying to be aggressive. So here I am, I'm just pushing the gas down. That went up to about 4,000 RPM. I'm already up at 40 miles an hour here. Um, it's just gonna let you rev a little higher. You're gonna feel a little bit more throttle response, which is nice. The other cool thing I like is, you know, just like on the WRX up here, you do have the boost gauge available to you. Uh, and then you also do have, um, it's gonna show you PSI, so the pressure that's going into the turbo, uh, and then also percent of throttle. So if you're flooring it, you know, 100%. If you're just touching it, uh, 0%. They actually do have this available, not with a turbo, obviously, you know, the PSI there, but they do have the, these types of gauges available in just a regular Forester as well. One addition that they have made uh, to the Forester, which previously was a huge difference between Outback and Forester, was you know, road noise, quietness, softness and feel. Um, they've added the noise insulating glass to the Forester now. So now it is a much quieter ride. I can still hear the engine when I'm in sport mode or sport sharp and I'm you know up at 5,000 or so RPM, but just regular road noise, wind noise, the suspension feeling going over bumps, things like that, it is much quieter and much more responsive. The other thing I do like too with SI Drive is that you are able to kind of go in between modes. So right now I'm in sport, I can just push that same button once again and go back into intelligent. So it's kind of, it lets you sort of live in the moment, so to speak, on how you want to drive and how you want the car to perform, which is awesome. Unfortunately, we're passing a police station here on our way to test out Sport Sharp, so I have to go the speed limit, and I know it's boring, but it's 30 miles an hour, so bear with me, guys. Bear with me. The, uh, the XT Premium 2, in terms of interior, a um, lot of refinement still. Um, kind of like with the Legacy Sport, sort of this, uh, this two-tone sort of thing here. You have a little bit more blue. I don't know if they have, I don't know if that's new or not here, maybe just because it's a quartz blue. Uh, but they have a cloth sort of center insert and then leather on the outside. So it's kind of like the Legacy Sport, if you've seen our video review of that, um, which is cool because it gives you, you know, a little bit of extra, but you're still cutting costs in the sense where you're not spending 38,000 like a fully loaded XT Touring. I mean, you're saving, you know, upwards of eight eight thousand dollars versus a fully loaded Touring, but you're still getting the same level of performance. No, you don't have, you know, brown leather interior, eyesight, navigation, those types of things. I mean, you don't even have fog lights in this car, but you do have a lot of things, automatic headlights, you do have, you know, really, really good voice activation technology, and the most important for anyone who's looking to buy a turbo, is you've got the high torque CVT, you've got a 256 horsepower engine that takes you from zero to 60 in just over six seconds. And for the person that's trying to, is, is looking at this, I mean, this is the same price between, you know, 30, 31,000 dollar MSRP, which is, essentially that of like a regular 2.5i premium with eyesight or a very base limited you know 2.5i with no eyesight or nav or anything like that so you get a lot of bang for your buck here and if performance is what you're looking for i think this is an exceptional value so the reason we're taking this we're taking this out to santa fe over south, santa fe and south rio Grande, and we are going to the reason i like this spot is because we're, we're from a complete stop and then the speed limit i think it's like 55 or 60 so we really get to floor it here which i really love only problem is kind of getting towards that rush hour time, so we got to wait here for just a second. So I'm just going to push it here into Sport Sharp. Cool thing with Sport Sharp is even if you're in regular drive, instead of saying D for drive up here, it's actually going to show you what gear you're in. Now, granted, it is a uh, a CVT, it's a high torque CVT, but it's going to show you eight speeds. They're going to act very similar, but you're not going to feel that lag. So I'm going to give myself some space here, and then I'm just going to push it. Ooh, there we go. There we go. See, now that, unlike with, now I'm already up to speed here. Whoop, got to get over. Um, unlike with regular sport, that took me up to six, almost 7,000 RPM before it shifted. Now, I wasn't in manual mode. I could have put that in manual mode and had a little bit more control over when we were shifting there. Um, but it's really nice. It takes you up to about 3,000 RPM, so a little bit slower turbo response than the uh, the WRX with the new engine in it, but um, still very, very powerful. Once that turbo hits in, bam, and it keeps that power band, which is why I think the CVT is good for this. You compare this to, for example, and I'm putting it back in just regular intelligence, there's too much traffic here, but you compare this to like the old four speed they had in the turbos in like 2011, like that Turbo Forester. That was fun. 
you know, aggressive drive, but very, uh, you needed more gears. That was, uh, was weak. It was weak. It was a weak transmission for it. And I think this is a huge, huge step up. It's, it's very similar to that of like an eight speed, just a little bit less lag there in between. Well, hey guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't yet driven a Turbo Forester uh, and you're sort of comparing it between that and the 2.5i, I definitely suggest first taking a look at the XT Premium. It offers a lot of bang for your buck uh, and gives you really everything that you're going to need, uh, unless you're looking, of course, for things like full leather or eyesight nav, things like that. The XT Premium really comes one way. You can have a little ad additional ex you know, accessories there, uh, but I really think it is a very good value and definitely worth checking out. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, it is just Groove Subaru on YouTube. We've got tons of videos up there, a lot of new stuff from 2017. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, subscribe today, and we'll see you guys next time on Groove Subaru Today. Take care.